Hey, it's Corey. Happy Tuesday. Everyone's having a gorgeous day. If you are there, jump on, say hello. So I've been feeling this desire to start talking more about money. And I have talked about money in the past, but it's an issue or a topic. It's not an issue. A topic that I feel called to talk more about. So if you are there, jump on and let's talk about money. Money, money, money. So the... Where I want to take this discussion today is the idea of money being tied to self-worth. And so it's exploring your relationship with money and looking at where in your life are you attaching your worth to money. So for example, perhaps you are making great money, but you kind of are feeling a little bit empty inside or you really don't like the job which is allowing you to have the money. Or perhaps you have an experience of consistently living with not quite enough. So having this model of scarcity, which then makes you feel like you're not worthy. So it goes back to that whole lie of you're not good enough because you're not making enough money or you're not doing as well in your business as you would like. So a lot of issues with money come down to issues of self-worth which this is a common shadow for a lot of people, this, this thought, this belief of not being good enough. So where I wanna take this today is all of this comes back to uncovering that lie because it is a lie, you are good enough. Looking to see, you know, what is the gift in this? What did this teach me? And is there a way I can start to glean the gold out of this? and see the gift in this and then also bring what is the real truth to light which is I am good enough and then the next phase is getting to the point where you fully and completely love yourself no matter what so no matter if you are a lump of coal or a diamond because you are each of those things But what often happens is you love yourself when you're a diamond, when things are going amazing, your health is great, your relationships are awesome, your work's going well. But if any of those things become out of, um, become out of equilibrium, something is going wrong in your relationship or maybe your health is starting to suffer. Hey, who's there? Say hello. Talking about some money, 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 money. Um, Or perhaps business goes down or business isn't going as well or you get laid off, whatever it is. If any of those things start to shift, then your self-worth starts to shift and it starts to plummet. So now that you don't have the diamond, you start to feel like because you are now perhaps having the experience of being a lump of coal, then you start to disparage yourself, criticize yourself, berate yourself. Basically, you abandon yourself because you're not good enough. And this is, <laughs> this is where it gets tricky because the whole test, the whole point of all of this is to love yourself no matter what. No matter if you lose your job, no matter if your health is on the rocks or relationships on the rocks, no matter what. Because we, as a culture, tend to be very conditional in that we are happy when things are going great not happy when things aren't going great, or we respect and uh, feel good about ourselves when things are going great, and then disrespect, feel bad about ourselves when things aren't going great. And the whole goal of life is to get to the point where you have your back, you love yourself, you trust yourself, and you will do whatever it takes to know you're good with yourself, no matter what. No matter if you're homeless, no matter if you're a millionaire, no matter if you're single, no matter if you're married, no matter if you're divorced, no matter if you're overweight, if you're suffering from chronic illness, you need to get to the point where you're like, I am okay. No matter what, no matter what comes my way, I'm okay. And I won't abandon myself and I won't shut my truth off. I won't hide, I won't play small and I won't ever betray myself again. And when you get to that point, Actually, what happens is all of those things start to shift and come into alignment 
with who you truly are. And who you truly are is a being of wealth and health and happiness, speaking their truth all the time, no matter what. Not having a mask, not playing nice or playing the part that you were taught to play as a child, really being in alignment with your soul. And your soul is rich. That's just spiritual law. So, so if you are interested in learning more about the work I do, let's jump on a call. So I put a link above. It's the Rebel Entrepreneur. So I work with entrepreneurs who are ready to revolutionize the way they do their business to make an amazing impact, an amazing income on their terms and live a life of great significance because really that's what it's about. It's living a life of great significance in alignment with your soul genius, making incredible money, having the exact lifestyle you desire, which equates to tremendous freedom and tremendous impact and tremendous truth. So that is speaking to you. Grab a, a link, or not grab a link, hit the link above and we'll be connected and we'll set up a call. And if you have any questions and want to know more about this, leave me some comments below because I want to do more lives about money because it's definitely something that it's not talked about very much and it's something that I think we need to debunk. There's nothing wrong with money. Money is energy. And so it's opening your channel to allow in that energy, becoming magnetic to that energy and letting yourself actually receive, which is another live I could do. <laughs> okay. Let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.